Congratulations, you've reached the end of the course. Hopefully you've learned a lot and have been able to think about how you can become a teacher leader in your school. So what did you learn and how would you use it? You may find yourself asking, what did I learn at the end of a professional development workshop or after observing a fellow teacher in the classroom? You'll ask yourself this question frequently throughout your graduate coursework. It's important to continually ask yourself, what did I learn, and to reflect on your answer. One method for reflecting on what you've learned is called DIEP. This stands for Describe, Interpret, Evaluate, and Plan. Each step has questions for you to answer to help you answer the overall question of what did I learn. First, describe what happened, including the relevant details. To do this, you'll need to answer the question, what did I do, read, see, or hear? Next, interpret the events. Explain what you learned, any new insights you have, the connections with your other learning, your feelings, hypotheses, conclusions, and so on. The two questions to ask here are, what was the reason I did this activity and what might it mean? Third, evaluate what you learned. Make judgments connected to the observations you've made. Answer the question, how is this useful? Finally, plan how this learning will be applied. Comment on its relevance to your course, your program, your future profession, and your overall life. The final question to answer is, how might this learning apply in my future? By using the DIEP method, you can see just how much you've learned from this course or from other professional development activities. In thinking about how you will use what you've learned, you might just come up with another action research project that you'll want to pursue. Speaking of action research projects, your action research proposal is due this week as part of your capstone project. Putting together your capstone project is an excellent time to further reflect on the question, what did I learn, as it looks at different aspects of the course and the questions you've been pondering each week. You'll need to include a personal assessment that answers the question, who am I? Then you'll answer the question, where am I? by looking at your school's organizational structure. You'll reflect on how you're currently influencing your school by answering, how do I lead? And finally, you'll include your action research plan to answer the question, what can I do? Remember, your action research plan is a proposal for future research, so write it in the future tense. Don't include the data analysis and final thoughts since you haven't yet conducted the actual study. As you wrap up this final week, reflect on what you've learned and continue asking and answering the question, what did I learn and how will I use it? Ask yourself this question frequently throughout your teaching career, whether during your graduate coursework or after an in-service, so you always know what you've learned and how you can apply it in your role as a teacher leader. Go higher, Concordia University, Nebraska.